Does your gym lift database have too much junk in the trunk? In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix that. Hey there, Juma fans. Tim Davis here. I'm a Juma fan too. Thanks for tuning in to Maintenance Monday number 203 here on the Basic Juma Tutorials YouTube channel where I show you my favorite extensions, tools, and tips for building and maintaining Juma sites. Uh, this video is brought to you by MySites.Guru. Head on over to MySites.Guru. Get a free site audit for your Joomla site. While you're there, check out all the tools and information that will save you time and money managing one or multiple Joomla sites. And if you decide to subscribe, use the coupon code BASICJOOMLA and you will get the first month free. All right, so today I was uh, on the Joomla Facebook group and someone posted that their the database for their Joomla site was two gigabytes in size and that was a problem because that was the full amount they were allowed with their host. Uh, I allow more with my clients, but I digress. Uh, so I thought it would be a great topic today. I actually suggested to it and someone requested it as well when I was talking about it to show you how to fix a problem if your Joomla site is too big. It's probably because something has been just storing a lot of stuff that you weren't aware of. But what we're going to do in this video, I'll show you how to go into your database to see which tables are the most and to figure out which ones you maybe want to adjust. So uh, let's turn our attention to the screen and we'll get started on that right away. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is go into your web hosting account and go to the uh, uh, to PHP my admin in the database section. Now that my company, uh, my clients use, um, I use cPanel. You would go to uh, databases to this tool or whatever tool your host offers you to see your databases. We're going to click on that. And then what we're going to do is click on the database that is for the site that you're concerned about the size of. All right, so uh, let's look at this database for basic Joomla. Now, what we're going to do is over here on the, uh, in this column for size, we're going to click to sort. And what we will end up with is the largest table will appear at the top. And so if you've got a huge database, you're going to see your biggest tables at the top and that's going to help you sort things out. Now, I have three databases, one for one of my sites and two for my clients that uh, from my client sites that we're going to look at. And uh, so stay tuned for the whole th this whole section because uh, there's some considerations to uh, take care of and to think of when you are making these tables smaller because you can really break things if you're not careful. And not all tables that are big should be made smaller. So you should, before doing anything in here, you should back up your database. You can do that using Akiba Backup. You can back up the database alone. Uh, but while you're in PHP My Admin, you can also back it up by going to here, Export. Just leave this to uh, the minimal options you will back up all of your tables. If you want to back up some, you can just hunt and peck the ones that you want. Um, do the format SQL and then just click go, go and it will download. Now, if your database is too big, you want to be super careful because you can download a huge backup of it. Maybe if it is two gigabytes, but a lot of hosts will limit the amount of file size that you can upload to restore a database if you have to in uh, in your database. And to do that, you would go uh, import up here on this tab here, and you would upload the file that you'd all previously downloaded. So keep that in mind. You might have problems if you mess up your site, mess up something, uh, uploading your database again. And that's why in this case, you might wanna just download, if you're gonna make some changes to a, a, a table, you might want to just download that table by itself if it's super huge. So just be careful. Make sure that you have backups. And uh, and if you get stuck trying to back upload a huge file, you may be going to have to ask your host. Or you could always open up the database file and upload bits at a time. But that can take a long time. So it's, it's a mess. So just be careful. But do backup because the biggest mess is not having a backup. All right. So here, what you do is you would just uh, click go at this point, and then it's going to ask you where you want to save it onto your computer. And here's the name, 
you know, for the SQL database, the files, and you would just click save and it will download it and you'll have it on your computer and then you can always upload it. All right. So just remember all those warnings I gave you before. All right. But here we are. We're looking at the whole table and we are, whoops, a daisy. All right. We're looking at the whole table and we're sorting by size in the column and we're going to look at some of the biggest tables whoops one more time there some of the biggest tables and ask ourselves hmm do i need everything that's in this table all right so this this is a small site it's not a problem so we can't use it for an example but let me bring up the other examples i have ready for you and here they are now i have hidden the information here so that i'm not giving away things for my clients you can't tell which is whose site and actually this first site is mine but i have taken screenshots and here we are i've sorted by size now look in this database the largest table is 112 megabytes that's pretty big now is that unnecessarily big well I look over and the table is sh404sef urls now that's an extension i use from weebler.com that manages what my urls look like for search engine friendliness and i know that on this site i have a lot of pages if we look down here at content i have 19,000 pages so uh it's not uncommon to have that many different uh different views and different urls all pointing to one page in Juma and so I'm not worried about that now here's 90 megabytes ACYM user stats now ACY is a mailing program a newsletter program that I use and I send out a lot of emails because I have I have about uh, 11,000 subscribers on one of my lists and so I end up getting a lot of stats when people click on links I, it gets up there now I'm not worried about it because first of all, it's my company, it's my server, uh, and uh, I let my clients have plenty of space. Uh, you know, I hate I hate web hosting that's too restrictive, so I don't want it for myself, I don't want it for my clients. So I can leave this. But if this were something that was super big and I didn't and I thought I don't need those user stats at all, I could actually go and I could click on empty and that would just empty all of those rows or you could click drop but don't click drop because that takes the table out and you if it goes missing you might break something on your site so you could empty all those rows uh you could also go into your extension in this case acy mailing and maybe look for a setting that says get rid of uh get rid of the user stats that are more than two weeks old or three weeks old maybe i've got two maybe i'm keeping them for six months and so in that way you let the extension control how big the database is and that's maybe what's going to happen you'll have uh, in some of the problems you have with the database a joomla database is too big is you just not you're not telling extensions to keep things smaller or to not hang on to things forever all right now you will see here uh then let's look at this next table ucm history if you have versions turned on in your joomla site then this is the table and basically versions in Joomla site, let's say you open a Joomla article, you save it, and then you make some changes, you save it again. Joomla keeps a version of your, uh, uh, the previous version of the article. And it will save as number, a number of copies or versions as you set up. So like I said, this site here has, uh, what did I say, 19,000 pages and uh it has 17,000 versions of uh, of those pages uh a lot of them have never been edited or they've been edited once but some have been edited two or three times um if you find that this uh is getting too big you just go in and tell your joomla site to store set versions to store fewer copies of articles you might also want to experiment maybe you could just empty this and then you'd have no versions if it's like oh i'm fine with what i've got empty it but i, I will say this i don't un, i don't know how this works well enough that maybe these are referenced elsewhere uh in the database so uh if you experiment you're experimenting at your own risk or right? it's not my advice uh it's not my uh, expert advice like oh just delete that it's no problem or empty that is no problem you know that's just something you might consider all right now content of course 
56 megabytes is 19,000 rows, 19,000 articles. I'm not going to touch that because I want all of that content. I'm not going to mess it up. Uh, and then here, ACYM, ACY mailing history, 52 megabytes. You get the idea. You start to look at what's big. Do you really need it? Can you change some settings? Can you just empty it? And will that help? All right, now let's take a look at another database. This is for a client here. Uh, all right, redirect links. Now this is going to be a common one. Look at this. 404,000 rows, 132 megabytes. Now th the redirects table is probably connected, and I know it is, to the core redirect extension or component inside of Juma. So I, when I look at this, I say, oh, that, the, that is turned on in this site, and it is keeping track of every 404 error that uh, is being thrown by images and pages that is called on your site. And you can go in there and see what's broken and you can redirect pages, maybe you've changed URLs, or you can see some images are missing. You can upload them and delete it and manage it. But uh, if you've left that running for a long time, you can, end, and you've got a lot of files in a big site, then you can, uh, uh, you can end up with a lot of records there. So this is one where you could turn off in Joomla. This one I know is safe. If you were to click empty, you would just get rid of all of the uh, the uh, errors that have been found and Joomla would keep going again. So that would work. But now look at this next one, Kunina messages. Uh, this client of mine has Kunina uh, uh, bulletin board forum, Kunina forum on it. And it's a very active forum. It's been going for a long time. 106,000 messages in there, 83 megabytes. I'm not going to touch that because that's content. I don't want to mess up with that at all. But I did notice this. Look at we've got underscore community activities and underscore com profiler. This client used to use Jom Social and is now we're using Community Builder on it. And it's possible that even though I've removed Jom Social, I haven't removed the tables. So I might actually be able to save some size here if I figure out which one of these belongs to Jom Social, community or com profiler, or I could be wrong. So I need to be very careful about what is in those tables. And you can actually view what is in those tables by clicking on browse in PHP My Admin, and you can kind of look at the code and see what's in there. And as long as you don't change anything, you're not gonna break anything, but you actually can change things in there too if you know what you're doing or want to experiment. Just remember to back up. Anyway, so we've got some big uh, databases here. Now also look at this, ad agency stats. So this client is running uh, from, I think it's iJoomla ad agency. And these are the stats for impressions of ads that are being displayed, who is clicked and, and various things like that. One million rows. Uh, it's very small information obviously because it's only 50. Up here we have 404,000 rows. It's 132 megabytes. Uh, yeah, megabytes. Here we have a million over a million, almost 1.1 million, and we only have 50 megabytes. So again, and here, look, content. This site only has 2,400 pages on it. Uh, and here's Kanina Topics. So, you know, you might be able to go into Kanina Forum and, and prune some topics, or maybe uh, you could uh, do some maintenance using the tools built right in there. But I, I'm not going to touch Kanina at all because it's a big forum. It's very active. And so I'm not worried about that. But as we go down, check this out. Plugin system cookies policy notifier bar logs. So the cookie policy notifier bar that pops up is keeping track of information and, and URLs and who's saying yes and accepting information for their sessions or whatever. I didn't even know this was happening. Look at this, 134,652 rows, but it's only 15 megabytes. Uh, maybe I wanna go into uh, that uh, extension which is from Web357, and see if there's a way to purge that. Maybe I've never said that. Or maybe I can just empty it and forget it. Who knows? I don't know. You have to understand the laws where you're at, and you really have to understand whether you want uh, this information. Now, it may very well, I, I mean, I don't know what's keeping track, and that's not part of this anyways. All right, so let's take a look at one last, uh, one last database for another site. Okay, this one is for a site um let's see look it up here the top one is four seo errors 
Now for SEO, you've seen here on the uh, on the channel, it's a uh, it's a really great SEO extension from Weebler, uh, and uh, super excited about it. We even had um, uh, Unique Gautier on, who's the a developer of it, uh, showing us around. Uh, I put it on this site, and it now it also tracks errors on the site. Remember, uh, in another database, the uh, redirect component was on. Um, yeah, the redirect component was on. Well, that's off on this site, but 4SEO is tracking errors. And this is a very busy and active site. And so uh, I can go in and look at those errors and I can turn off that error tracking. Or if it's like, oh, you know, I'll just wipe things clean. I know in this case, I think, I can just go empty, get rid of all those rows, and it'll start keeping track again. But again, so that's the largest one there. Now, this uh, site offers quizzes for drivers, uh, for driver tests. And so you will see here that the next two big files are student question and student choice. And there are 777,000 rows, a little bit less here. This is keeping track of tests that students have taken, free tests, and is checking them and keeping the scores and all kinds of stuff. So 62 megabytes, 53 megabytes, pretty big. And actually, I know I don't think my client's even using this anymore. It may still be used a little bit. We're transitioning to something else. And so, uh, but that, you know, I could definitely make the database smaller if I, uh, if I purge this. But again, uh, it all depends. You have to understand what you're using the extension for. And maybe the extension has a setting in there that we haven't used that says, hey, only keep, uh, only keep student question information for a month. I think there's probably years of stuff in here. Uh, here's version history again. Now, there's only 3,000, uh, there's only 3,700 rows, but it's 44 megabytes. This site has some pretty big pages and obviously has been changed quite a bit. So there's a lot of versions. Uh, again, ACY mailing user stats and history, uh, lots of roles, lots of size, and uh, basically, um, you know, some things to look at. There's SH404 SEF URLs. Jot cache, you know, it's a caching program. It's got a lot of roles. I could go in there and just dump that cache because it really keeps the old roles. Anyways, at that point, you know, at this point, you get the idea. Uh, if you are looking to, uh, if you really need to uh, uh, shrink down the size of your Joomla database, go into PHP my admin for it. Take a look. See if there's something that you've overlooked. Uh, is there is there an extension that is has crazy amount of rows that you can change the settings on? Can you empty those rows? This is how you can see why your database is so big, and it will be a uh, it's a great tool for you to carefully strategize about what you can shrink down smaller. Your Joomla, ba your Joomla database will have way less junk in the trunk and uh, that's going to solve whatever problems if you've got really restrictive hosting or if having a large database is creating problems for you and, and backing up, uh, then uh, that's what you want to do. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any comments or questions about this, please leave them in the comment section below or email me at tim at cybersalt.com. Uh, if you're looking for help on your Joomla site, please contact me. Uh, I'm available for hire and uh, there's oftentimes things that I can help out with just for free, like these things today. Make a, a tutorial on it. So that's it for now. Um, please subscribe if it was helpful. Ring the bell to get notifications. Give the video a like. And until the next time, Enjoy your Juma sites and God bless.